How you doing everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flashbang effect in After Effects. This is a pretty simple effect to create. It's going to be more the concussive effect from the flashbang rather than the actual explosion itself. But either way, it works for both. For our shot, we're making sure the actor is moving about pretending to be concussed. You can either go handheld or locked down. It doesn't really matter too much other than it will increase the amount of ghosting in your shot, which we'll get into in a minute. First thing I'm going to do is put the initial flash. For that, create a new adjustment layer go to effects, color correction, exposure. Once that's applied to the layer, trim it to line up with whatever frame you want the impact to be on and crank up the amount. Click the stopwatch to add a keyframe and over the next three frames, have the brightness ramp down to wherever you can make out detail again. And over the rest of the clip, allow it to fade dimmer, but still keep it slightly overexposed. Don't forget to add easy ease to your keyframes. Now we're gonna add a sort of ghosting effect to it. Take the base footage and duplicate the layer. Move it two frames after the original base layer. Do that two more times. Move each layer two frames behind the previous one. And once you have that, extend the beginning of each layer to the first keyframe of the initial flash layer. These duplicates are gonna be your ghost layers. One, two, and three. Adjust the opacity of Ghost 1 to 25%, Ghost 2 to 15%, and Ghost 3 to 5%. Another detail I want to add is a smoke puff from the pillows clapping together. This will help sell the impact. I'd also do this if I were doing a flashbang grenade along with adding an explosive charge effect to it. As for the smoke, bring it into your stock footage, line it up with the start of the impact, and then go into Effect, Channel, Shift Channel, and change the alpha to luminance to key out the black. Then go to Effect, Channel, Remove Color Matting, and this will help you make your smoke look more dense and visible. Next, motion track your footage. There's not much going on on screen, so it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm gonna open up the Tracker tab, hit Track Motion, and every five frames or so adjust the position of the smoke. Then apply the track and enable Motion Blur. After that, duplicate the smoke layer, take the bottom one, go up to Effect, Color Correction, Tint, and map the white to black. Adjust the position of it to line up with the shadows in your scene and adjust the opacity until it blends in. This step helps bring a little more visibility to the smoke and blend it better into the scene. Again, just like with the original ghost layers, duplicate the smoke and the smoke shadow three times. Move each one two frames over and readjust the starting point. Your smoke should now have its ghosting effect to it as well. Next, around the actor, I'm going to add a wavy distorted look to the environment. I'm going to do this with the heat distortion plugin from Video Copilot, but you can get the same effect with turbulent displacement, which comes pre-installed in After Effects. You can look here at my settings, but honestly, just mess around until you find a look you're happy with. Now we're going to add an elliptical mask to the heat distortion. Click M to bring up the mask path. Click the stopwatch to keyframe the mask path, and like the smoke, readjust it every five frames or so to track it in. Make sure the mask is set to subtract so it's removing Evan from the heat distortion. With this, I'm just trying to keep Evan's body inside the circle. After that, feather it in until the mask blends in with the scene. It's looking good. Now for the last couple of steps. Pre-compose all existing layers, create a new adjustment layer above, go up to effect, Blur, CC Radial Blur, trim it to the initial impact, keyframe it to 72, and then have it gradually decrease over the next few frames. Just like that, you have a flashbang effect. But don't do it just the way I did. Have fun with it. Make it your own. I hope you guys learned something today, and I'll see you in six months when I upload another video.